Good morning and welcome back to the channel. This week I'm doing a week in my life vlog. So follow me this week as I go to the lab. I have so many experiments to do. I have so many experiments to repeat and I have so much data to analyze. And I'm gonna take y'all along with me. It is 7 a.m. I clearly am not really dressed, but I need to be in the lab by eight. I'm gonna make some tea. Um, and I'm gonna grab a bite from Duncan and then we're gonna head into the lab and get started. I'm so tired because last night was the Black Women in STEM Galentine's Day event. It was so much fun, but I didn't get home till like 9.30, which is late for me. I'm normally in bed by 9.30, so it was a time. That vlog is already posted so you should go and check it out um it was a really great time so my apartment is a hot mess and i'm not gonna show y'all you're welcome i'm not gonna embarrass myself on the internet okay i do that enough i do have to do some running around in between experiments today um i just have a ton of stuff going on but the focus this week is going to be finishing up science so this phd can get done let's go I got to the lab and started working on my experiment and totally forgot to record because it was such a crazy morning. I had to put out fires left and right and it was really just annoying because that's not how I'm going to start out my Monday morning. So after an hour and a half of trying to get myself together and get everything started, I sat at my desk and begrudgingly looked at my emails and drank my tea, which by this point was not hot. So I was super pissed about that. And you can tell based on the look at my face that the emails were not going well. I didn't realize I was breathing this heavily. This is what I look like when I'm working at my desk. Oh my gosh. I'm back home, but only for a little short period of time. I came home around like three-ish um, so I could take a nap, but I ended up scrolling on TikTok. Ooh. And I have to go back to lab actually. I'm going to leave in about 20 minutes. Um, I have a meeting at 7 p.m. Yes, 7 p.m. And then my experiment ends at 8, and I'm going to take some quick pictures, and I'm going to come on back home. Um, this week is going to be a lot of 12-hour days, which really, really, really sucks. Um, but we're going to get through it. I was nice with other people in the lab, so I didn't record anything this day, but just stay tuned. All right, good morning. It's Tuesday. It's 7.30. I was supposed to be at lab at 7, um, but when my alarm went off, I quickly changed my mind. So um, I am still going to do a few experiments this morning. I'm going to set up at 8 um, and have to analyze a bunch of data from yesterday. All right, it's Tuesday night. I just finished a quick 15-minute yoga class on Peloton. I love Peloton so much, but did my yoga so I can get my body moving a little bit, got a little stretch in, and I'm going to head back to the lab um, for my 8 p.m. time point. So it's been 12 hours. I'm going to check on these plates, and I'll take you guys with me. Um, I am here to grab my plates out of the incubator. Um, so let's see how they look. I have a full stack of plates and there's little bacteria guys on there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So I'm going to take pictures of all of these plates a different camera that is not this one so i have to take pictures so i can show them in my presentation for tomorrow that i have to um make the slides for i made some of the slides but not all the slides and these they look really good science is working what that like never happens okay uh let's go to the next room here's a setup here i have a camera um, blue, black felt, so I can put my plates on here and take pictures, and then some post-it notes. Let me get you guys set up. This is one of those experiments that is super easy to do, but just takes a lot of setup time and is really tedious. Actually, a lot of my experiments are really tedious, or maybe I just don't like tedious actions. I like to change it up a little, you know, give it a little spice. And I feel like science doesn't really do that because I'm repeating the same experiments multiple times in a row. Okay, so all done taking pictures, I am gonna put the camera away and then I'm gonna head upstairs so I can count the plates and then I'm gonna go home. Back upstairs at my personal lab bench, I'm going to count all of the colonies that are on these itty bitty little plates. 
I'm gonna count these colonies on this whole stack of plates and record the data in my lab notebook um, so I can make a graph and you know show this data tomorrow. I was so tired by the time I had to count these colonies. I really was not feeling it. Oh my gosh, why am I breathing so heavily? Is something wrong with me? Actually, I haven't been to the gym in a really long time because I've just been on this science grind, which is not what people think it is. Like these incubation time points are all over the place and I haven't been able to get into an actual routine or my old routine in a long time, but I was so happy to go home this day. The plates are stored away in the fridge and now I'm gonna go home and go to bed because I'm so tired and it's been a long day and I have to repeat this tomorrow so it's gonna be another 12 hour day tomorrow and then I have to do a different 12 hour uh, study on Thursday so very very busy week in the lab unfortunately but yeah all done for tonight I'm gonna head home good morning welcome back happy friday i'm so happy this friday it's been such a long week I recorded a book video so that is already posted so you should go check that out and then yesterday i was so busy i forgot to record i'm so sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry um but i'm gonna take you guys with me today um it is friday i have a few experiments um that i need to finish up from the week and I'm preparing for next week and then it's Super Bowl Sunday so that'll be exciting this weekend I have to get up and wash my hair because I haven't washed it all week I need to get to the lab so let's get ready not gonna lie this is my least favorite part of every single week because sometimes I really wish I were bald I cut my hair off almost a year ago and I was not expecting it to grow back this quickly because when I first cut it and it was a short little cute you know curly hairstyle it was so easy for me to do my hair it would take less than 15 minutes but now you see how long my hair is it takes way more than 15 minutes more like 35 minutes now for me to actually style it although it does last me the entire week so I don't have to do that much work afterwards but at this point I am strongly considering what I'm gonna do with my hair because I don't want long hair or I just don't want to have to manage long hair I want the responsibility of a short hair curly girl with having long hair so I guess that means I want a hairstylist I don't really know but I will tell you from doing hair all the time my arms are jacked Actually, it may be slightly due to me doing yoga at home. I've been doing Peloton for, I think like two years now, and I'm not as consistent as I want to be because science has been kicking my butt. But just a few months ago, I was doing it like three times a week at home, and I love me some power yoga, and it does wonders for my body. Like I hardly realize that I'm working out because I'm so into like meditation aspect of it but I actually really do enjoy it and it's made my arms like really toned on top of me having to do my hair all the damn time but this didn't end up taking that long I think it took me like 45 minutes altogether after I had blow dried and everything and it was pretty early in the morning too so I wasn't even like running late for anything Fridays is normally my take it slow days so I can relax because if you haven't noticed, every other day of the week is so crazy and is on a time schedule and I have to be places at certain times. So I try to build in a lax schedule on Fridays. Now, by the time I got into the lab, I was quick to start running my mouth. Something about being in lab on Fridays with other women in the lab. My lab is mostly female, by the way. We just go to lab and chit chat and kiki all day long. And on this day, I was talking to one of the undergrads in our lab about social media and if she even watched YouTube or had like a favorite TikToker or something. And she said she didn't. But then we started to get into all the TikTok girls that were going to Dubai and going on the ski trips and doing this and doing that. I and think it's so funny because most people will probably expect scientists to talk about science all day but most of our conversations are either about reality tv whatever we're watching on netflix or whatever true crime documentary podcast episode tiktok is going viral at the moment because we're just so into pop culture i don't know it's such a funny thing we spend so much time looking at tabloids and we're at our desks 
it's a quite hilarious and definitely unexpected, but it's made my PhD way more enjoyable. Yes. <laughs> ah, go bird. <laughs> yes. Pizza, 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 pizza. So after the free lunch, I wrapped up the day pretty quickly because it was the weekend and Super Bowl weekend and I really, really, really wanted a nap. So I grabbed my stuff and dipped. It is barely five o'clock and I am so tired. So I'm already in bed. Um, but to you, season four, five, the new season of you came out. So I'm gonna lay here and watch it and um, probably eat some leftovers. As I got home, like walked in the door, I realized that I forgot to do one experiment. So uh, I'm going back to lab tomorrow morning to finish that. Um, it's not time sensitive, but it's just really annoying that I forgot to do it while I was there. I think I was so preoccupied with the thought of taking a nap, um, which I probably won't even do because I'm gonna watch TV. But yeah, I'm gonna be relaxing tonight and probably gonna lab tomorrow morning. So I forced myself to do some Peloton yoga because I hadn't done it all week. So this was a 20 minute class that I took and then I rewarded myself by watching Harlem and not you because Harlem just came out season two and I really, really liked this show. Um, I did end up watching you after this, but I gotta say I wasn't really into this season like I thought I would be. It's Saturday and I'm in bed. Oh, I love this. I haven't spent a Saturday in bed in so long, um, but I do have to get up to do a little bit of run around, but I will be starting the day with some Starbucks because you should reach yourself. Um, so let me get up and get a few, a few things done. I don't normally get Starbucks, like I get it every once in a while, but I got it this week because one of my followers sent me money for a coffee because she said she really appreciated my content and I just thought that was so stinking sweet. How cute. Okay, so I just recorded an episode for the Bougie Black Girls Book Club where I reviewed this book. So that will be out next week, so after you see it. Um, but I'm really excited. I've changed a few things and I think I'm getting a little bit more comfortable on YouTube, so I really like that a lot. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see all the books that I do review. So I'm gonna focus primarily on black authored books because that is my favorite genre. Um, but yeah, I just heard that video and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. Um, the first book review is already out and then this book review will come out the following week. Um, so I'm batch creating a bunch of content because I'm gonna be like in transition soon. So I'm just trying to make sure that I am consistent on YouTube. Um, so I'm probably gonna start editing now because again, I wanna make sure that I keep everything on time and you know, stay focused. So let's get that done. Okay, it's Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, Rihanna Bowl Sunday. Very, very excited. Um, I spent the last two hours planning some travel that I have coming up super excited for that um but there's gonna be a lot of legs on this trip apparently uh so we'll see how that goes but should be a lot of fun today i have to do some laundry and then i'm gonna be watching the super bowl at my friend mackenzie's house i'm actually dog sitting while she goes out to super bowl party i didn't feel like going to super bowl party so i'm just going to sit on her couch and eat her food and watch her flat screen tv while i pet her dogs so i think it's a pretty fair exchange let's get up and get ready for the eagles super bowl Okay, so it's three o'clock and I am literally nowhere near being ready to go to Mackenzie's house. I've spent so much time doing stuff for online. My room is literally a hot mess. Yeah, the stuff on the bed. I get laundry done though. So I'm gonna fold laundry, take a shower. I have to record something for TikTok and I'm probably gonna edit at Mackenzie's house so I can post it later on today. It's been a busy Sunday. Oh my gosh. With all their gifts, how easy it must have been to be that one in a million talent. They're very calm. Destiny hey, Bandit. Paved roads. I don't want to do it anymore. And no, Super Bowl's about to start. I've already had some wine. I got some soda. I've had some candy, some cheese. The boys ate their dinner. Look at me being a little dog mom. 
All right, so the game's about to start, which means I'm gonna be glued to that TV and Rihanna, damn. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in for a week in my life. This is a lot of fun. Let me know if you wanna see anything else and see y'all in the next episode.